Hey, so in this video I show you how to make brawn from pork knuckles. Basically we need some pork knuckles. They are already brined and cured. I will show that in my article below how that will work. Then for the cooking liquid we need some water, then vinegar, salt, black pepper, bay leaves, some caraway seeds and allspice and fresh onions. And that's it. Depending on how thick you want the final brawn to be, you could also use additional aspic powder. However, typically the pork knuckles are enough. Add some water into a pot, add the salt and all the spices, the fresh onions and the vinegar, and then mix everything until well combined. Then you can add the pork knuckles. The important part here is that they are mostly covered with liquid. If there's like one centimeter out, no worries. You can just move it while cooking. But um, yeah, they should be mostly covered with liquid. Then put on the lid and cook it for at least two hours. But the desired texture is, as you can see here, it needs to fall off the bone. So it could also be longer. Just make sure that it splits nicely. And then it is ideal to separate the pork skin from the meat because we will use different ratios. So in my final brawn, I'm using 10% of the weight with the cooked pork skin and the rest is the meat and fat. However, you could also add more. That's completely up to you. Then you can put the liquid through a kitchen paper and a sieve. This way it will be as clear as it could be and then you can cut the meat into cubes they could be bigger or smaller i personally like them a bit chunkier in the final product however if you want them super small just go for it that's again completely up to your taste and then for the pork skin i definitely chop that finer i just like the final texture that way so first I cut them into pine cubes and then I basically chop them with a cleaver to get like very fine thin slices and cubes. Add everything well together and make sure it's evenly distributed. And then for filling, you could either use artificial casings or you could also use like I do here a container Put in the meat skin mixture and then I personally like to press it a bit so it is compact so I have like more meat than gelatin in the final product and then I fill it up with the liquid and then put it in the fridge for at least a few hours or until it's set but ideally overnight and here you can see the final product it has set you can see the different pieces and also the aspic around it. It is very nice. You could also eat it like this with the remoulade and some fried potatoes, or you can thinly slice it and put it on a piece of bread and butter. Let's give it a taste test. And yeah, this is so simple, but it's so rich and really, really tasty. The texture is awesome. I can definitely recommend. As always, full recipe is below. If you like this video, then please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.